Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, Sydney, it was cloudy, overcast, driving to work today. I'm hoping it, you know, changes for the rest of the week. I before. saw a lot of sunshine. You did? Today. I didn't. I was I out know, where, where was I driving? this morning. You were probably coming driving when uh, the clouds were there and we I saw was. a cold front coming over. Yeah, because I definitely didn't imagine that. On the other side of that, those temperatures did fall, so I was probably out there during the best time of the day. Those temperatures today in the upper 30s this morning, that's when we saw those upper 30s and low 40s and Darren saw the clouds coming by the afternoon. It was the mid afternoon for most of us when that cold front did pass overhead and that's going to be noticeable tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning temperatures at around nine degrees. That's what they're going to feel like at least when you do factor in the wind. We will be a little bit more on the breezy side heading through the day tomorrow. This morning you likely noticed a little bit of a breeze if you were out and about as well. And as we go through the afternoon tomorrow, those temperatures 27. That's the feels like temperature for the high. So it's not going to feel warm, but the sunshine, it will stick around. And that's what's feeling very nice out there. As we go through these next couple of days, lots of sunshine and actually warmer temperatures. They're coming our way, but not overnight tonight. Those actual temperatures were around 17 degrees in Boston, Norwood 16 degrees. Another night that we're going to get all that heat that we saw or warmth that we saw today. It's going to all escape right out the atmosphere and we're going to see cool temperatures tomorrow. So 38 for the actual high for your Sunday. Let's go back to that low 50s by the time we head through Monday and then we're rising almost 60 degrees through Wednesday, but it's going to be a little deceiving because Wednesday is actually not the nicest day of our next seven overall. Wednesday is actually going to be when we really start to see rain chances coming into the picture. So as we go through the rest of this afternoon and this evening, we're going to stay mainly dry tomorrow. A area of moisture coming overhead, possibly bringing snow showers to some. It's going to be very quick moving. It will be right in the middle of the morning, and then that's going to be pushing out pretty quickly as we go into Monday evening. It shouldn't leave any type of accumulation just with these warmer temperatures that are heading our way. So now let's skip right to Wednesday. You're looking at Wednesday mornings. This is when rain chances will enter. This is also the day close to 60 degrees, but not the best outdoor day we're going to see as we go through next week. So this is Wednesday by midday by the afternoon still seeing that rain and then Thursday we'll have lingering rain chances even potentially changing over to some snow for uh, the central areas of Massachusetts before this does exit by the time that we go into Thursday afternoon so it's going to be a wet one right for that middle part of the week generally speaking though most of us seeing between an inch uh, under half an inch between half an inch to one inch of rain and the areas to the south seeing that one to two inch range. So for us, it's likely going to stay as all rain. Now talking temperatures, we're watching those temperatures rise upper 50s and low 60s through the middle part of the week. It looks like a trend is going to be sticking around where those temperatures are going to be staying well above where they should be even through the full first week of March. So not looking all that optimistic that any part of February is going to be seeing snow for the rest of February, even for the first week of March. It's not looking all that optimistic and we're way below where we should be for this time of year. The normal is over almost three inches of, or three feet, excuse me, of snow, and we are under 10 inches of snow here in Boston. Not looking optimistic, anything as we go through the middle of the week will come down as all snow, enough to accumulate at least. And by next weekend, we're keeping those temperatures in the low 50s. All right, Sydney, thank you. So sports is next. The NFL is